After the communist revolution in the Russian Empire, the communists took power and the USSR was formed. The leader of this country was Vladimir Lenin. But alongside him, there was Joseph Stalin. The USSR wanted the most powerful army the world has ever seen. And they even wanted their soldiers to be the best. And that is why, in the 1920s, Stalin had an idea. He suggested that we should turn our soldiers into hybrids. And what he meant by that was a human brain, but the strength of an animal. Which animal is really close to us? Chimps and gorillas. He sent Russian scientists to Africa and told them there's a lot of these types of animals in Africa and make them mate with humans. In both ways, meaning a male gorilla and a female human and a male human and a female gorilla. And do the same thing with chimpanzees. They wanted to make soldiers that have the same strength as gorillas and chimpanzees, but have a brain just like a human. They tried to do this for years. They tried with gorillas all over the world, different types of chimps, different types of humans, but there was not one pregnancy. Why did this happen? Isn't the monkey family related to humans? In this video, we want to find out why humans can't breed with other animals. You first have to know that in every type of animal, there's a reproductive isolation. And that means you cannot breed with that animal if it's not in your species. And for example, a dog and a wolf can breed with each other because they're in the same family. But a rooster cannot breed with a vulture. Humans have tried this for a very long time to see if other animals can interbreed with each other. Throughout history, this was tested. You might ask, humans and monkeys should be the same because of evolution. But right now, they're not in the same family. Because scientists say that 7 million years ago, the human family separated from the monkeys. Even though it took a very long time to turn into a human, but they separated a long time ago. Even though they were very closely related, they still could not stand each other and they were disgusted from one another. And this means the ones that turned more into humans really hated the other chimps. And when they separate for so long, they turn into two different things. One stays a chimp, the other one turns into a human. There could have been a time where another way opened from the chimps and it turned, for example, into a gorilla. When they turn their separate ways, breeding in between them does not work anymore. What's the main reason that causes this? Why can't this happen? The main reason is DNA. This can only happen when DNAs work with one another. When they separate, they're separated forever and they can't work with one another anymore. It's kind of like trying to put a square piece in a triangle hole. It just simply doesn't work. The last thing that humans could breed with are Neanderthals, and that's because their DNA was close to us. And still today, a part of Neanderthals are still in our DNA. So you might be asking, why did humans mate with Neanderthals, but not the monkey family? And that's because Neanderthals looked more like humans, and they were smarter than the chimps and gorillas. And that is why humans didn't mind the Neanderthals. 
but Neanderthals, for unknown reason, went extinct, and humans turned better and better. We should be really that this is the case, and animals cannot crossbreed with each other. Just imagine if this was possible. In this case, people just like Stalin would do some weird stuff. We could have people that were half dog, half human. Or someone that was half rhino and half gorilla. In that case, what would happen to the Olympics? Whoever was half cheetah would definitely win. And whoever was half gorilla would probably be the best boxer and wrestler. It's interesting because this was Stalin's idea and nobody could talk back to him. He just wanted the strongest army and the strongest soldiers. At that time, they didn't know about DNA, but the scientists back then should have known that the monkey DNA is extremely related to us. A chimp's DNA is 95% related to a human's DNA, and that 5% doesn't allow crossbreeding to happen.